Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a classroom memories video to share with the class. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Now that it's the end of the school year, let's create a Doodly video to capture some of those memories that you and your students have had and share them with the class before school lets out for summer. We can add images, text, and music to create a fun and nostalgic video that everyone, including the teacher, staff, students, and their families can enjoy. I'm gonna pretend that I'm an elementary school teacher in creating my video for my students, but of course a parent volunteer could also do something similar. I've downloaded a bunch of stock photos to use and I'll mix and match with some doodly elements. Obviously you'd wanna use actual photos of your students. Group photos are great because you want to make sure each student appears in the video at least once. And likewise, you probably don't want to over feature any one student. Now you see, I've already created a rough outline of what I want to cover for my particular video. And I think that will be enough to give you an idea of some of the things that you can do in your video. So let's go ahead and start. You go to my videos, create new video. Let's give it a title. Now for the photos, I mentioned I'm using stock images, but this process is the same if you have your own photos. You're going to go to props and you're going to click the little plus sign down here. And then you're going to browse for your files. Here are all of mine. You notice that each one starts with the prefix school 2022, and that's just going to help me to find them as I work on this project. It's now uploading 28 files. And here they are. So I'm going to start with our school exterior. And then I also wanted the interior of the classroom. And I like this empty one to start. You know, this is the beginning of the year that we're starting with. And I'm going to go over here, add some text. We'll use word wrap. Let's put the year down here. You could put the grade, you know, sixth grade, fifth grade, whatever it is. You could put your name, you know, Mrs. So so and so's classroom, whatever you think would be nice. So this is basically our first scene here. So I would like all of my images to fade on rather than scribble on. So I'm gonna do that to so all of them. When you click on it, you get the little pencil icon, and then you just go to reveal mode, fade, save and return. And let's order it like so. When they fade on, they really don't need to spend a lot of time on the fade. One second, maybe two seconds is plenty. Let's take a quick preview of this. And that's gonna be nice. You notice the hand. Let's go over here to settings. Since I'm a female teacher, I wanna change the hand to match. So I'll choose this one. And I can click apply now, but I like to turn erase mode off. I don't like how the finger comes in and erases. It's just a personal preference. Let's go back to props first. I think before I add a new scene, I'm gonna cover this entire scene with a photo. Remember I said I wanted one with the teacher? So let's do this. We're gonna add. So here's the teacher with the class and I'm gonna cover everything up. And what this does is this will, this image when the time comes for it to come on, it will fade in on top of everything. So it's a nice transition. So even though we're not technically creating a second scene, we're creating a transition and it will be nice. So again, let's change this to maybe two seconds. One, let's do one and a half. So let's take a preview and see how that's gonna work. So, da, 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 da. And see how it did the little scribble in. That looks okay. You know, we could leave it like that, or we could do like we did before the fade. 
and boom, just like so. I am gonna give maybe a two second delay before that comes on because we write 2022. Let's just have a little bit of a delay and then it'll come on. Let's do a second and a half. Now, our next scene. At this point, I would just start putting in different group photos. And we're gonna just add another scene. Let's do field trip. So maybe we add some text. What the bus. Let's pretend that you went to the zoo. So we can add some graphics that kind of depict what you guys did. So remember, it's just memories. Something like that. Just something the kids will like and it'll remind them of the zoo. Again, scene settings, we'll do two seconds. And then timing. And I like them fairly short. These can draw on by hand, so about two seconds each would probably be plenty. You know, we don't need this to be a two minute long scene. When I get rid of the search, look what happens. It kind of defaults to this other order. And where did all my photos go? You know, these are all old ancient imports and whatnot. It's not relevant to what I was just working on. Remember when I uploaded those 28 images and they were all here? Well, that's why I named it School 2022 uh, as my prefix. So here we go. Here are all of my images. Another one here. And let's go ahead and let's find a thought bubble. And we're going to add a little thing. So you can add little fun things that the kids might enjoy, like, you know, little quotes and bubbles and thoughts. Okay, so let's import some of the kids' artwork. We're going to pretend that they were studying sea creatures. So we have some of these little sea creatures we want to add. Something like that might be kind of fun. Now, I am going to do the fade for most of these. But since they are little drawings, it would be really kind of neat to do some drawing tasks. So I'm just gonna show you how on one of them, cause it's a little time consuming to do. So let me first of all, get the ones that I want fading on. This guy we will draw and we're not gonna try and be perfect. It's really not set up for being perfect today. Okay, so you start with your first path and you find where you think you might draw. Get your points on the line. Make your path size large enough to cover it, but not so large that you're revealing all the other stuff. Now again, I'm not going to try and be perfect on this because it would take me an hour to get all these strokes just right. But this will show you, hopefully, how you do this. So you just add a new path each time you want. You can just kind of follow the way that you would normally draw it. Now you notice I kind of moved off the line here. So I'm just going to move those little points over like so. Now I would do a new path and I'm going to go here. new path and I'm going to do these um, teeth but I want to kind of just go through them pretty fast so I'm going to make the path size much larger this time and 
And then now I need to make my path skinny again. Let's make it through here. Do the new path. Pink our little horn. Now at this point, we can pretty much call it done and watch what happens. If I save and return, we'll draw the outline and then since I didn't continue, the hand's going to squiggle in the color on its own. So let's just take a preview of this scene. So the turtle fades on. Now we should be drawing on our guy. Yep. And then see how it just fades in the rest. And I think that's fine. It, it gives us the representation of, okay, we drew it and then it, it colors in. It just kind of fades in the color on its own. Watch, here we go. I'm doing the outline. And then it just kind of pops in. Okay, and then some more text. What was this? We're gonna call it Studying Sea Creatures. We're gonna add one final scene here. And we're gonna keep it nice and short and simple. Obviously, if this were a real video for a real classroom, it would be much longer. We'd have a whole lot more photos with all the different kids and all. But I think this gives you a good idea of what's possible. So we'll end it with, have a great summer. And let's go to props. And let's find a chalkboard. Let's use this one. How cute. I'm not sure where I got this one. I got it at one of the free sites at one point. In the back. We'll change our text color, click the gear icon, click the color swatch, and then pick white, and hit apply. Add a little bit of time at the end, five seconds. And then finally, we can add some music. So if you go over to the sounds tab, click categories, music. I'm going to use this one, favorite things. It's going to be a little long, so we're going to need to fade it. So I'm going to scroll over to the beginning, drop it down into my music track. And I am going to trim the beginning here, because look, it takes about a second and a half before the music even begins. I want it to start right away. And then at the end, see it's too long, which we knew, but that's not a problem. We're just going to take our little cursor hover it over the edge until it turns into a two-sided arrow, and then you just drag. And then, of course, it's going to cut off. It's just going to stop, right? So if you right-click, choose Fade Out, then it's going to fade out. And I'm going to make a nice long one by stretching that little triangle. So it's a nice slow fade. Let's take a quick look, and we will be done. Doodly to create a classroom memories video to share at the end of the school year. I hope this gives you some ideas and thanks for watching!